back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Primark haul for March 2020. A couple of months ago on my channel, I actually did a Primark haul and I'm not going to lie, I didn't think anybody was going to be interested in watching it. I don't know why, I just feel like they're quite old school YouTube videos now and even though I still watch them every time I see one in my subscription box, I didn't think that you guys would want one. And then I uploaded it and everyone went crazy for it and I was like, okay, maybe everyone does still want a Primark haul. So it just gave me the incentive to go to Primark more. Yesterday I went to Primark and I absolutely raided the shop because it had been about a month, maybe six weeks since I had last been and they'd completely revamped the home section, completely revamped the downstairs and actually got a load of their summer bikinis in, which I'm not gonna lie, didn't buy just yet, but I will go and buy probably for my next haul. And they just had so many incredible new things and I was like, okay, like this, this calls for another Primark haul. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with clothes because I was pleasantly surprised. I normally, like I say in every Primark haul, find it really hard to find clothes that I really like in Primark. However, this time I feel like they've really stepped up their game and they've really got a lot of on-trend items. And at the moment, everyone loves a good blazer cohort. Like, it might just be me, I'm just obsessed with them. And the first thing I saw when I walked in was about 10 different colors of blazer cohorts. They had purple, blue, orange, yellow. They had checked, they had polka dot, they had like a pattern of some sort. And I was like, oh my god, this is amazing because normally blazer cohorts are so expensive and this one was really inexpensive. I actually got mine in a nude colour just because I don't really wear a lot of bright colours. Like nude is kind of like as far as my comfort zone will weirdly go. So it's like a light brown colour, it's super thin, it's actually got these lines all over it, which I'm finding really hard to explain what they are, but it's just like a thin lined material. It's got a collar and then it's got two fake pockets and it is long sleeved, but essentially it is just a thin blazer. And this was 15 pounds and then to match it you actually got the bottoms as well and again they've got two fake pockets here they are an elasticated waistband and then they just go all the way down and they're just going to be a little bit flowy on the leg and I just love these like as soon as I saw this cardboard I was like with a white top and some trainers or even some heels I was like that is going to look so so sick and these trousers were 13 pounds so actually in total the cover was 28 pounds which I feel like is a little bit pricey I was going to say it's affordable but I'm not going to lie yeah I don't know that seems a little bit pricey but it does look really nice and the quality is good. I obviously don't know how they're washed but it looks like it's going to wash okay. I just knew as soon as I saw it that I needed it in my life so if you do want a good blazer cohort I would definitely recommend going to Primark because they have a lot of colourways at the moment. I then found some really funky trousers and it has been a while since I wore pattern trousers but if you've been following me for maybe like four or five years you would know that I used to live in trousers like this and these were £10 and they're called slim fitted ones. Primark sizing always comes up really weird on me like in some things I have to get a size 10 and then in other things I have to get a size 4 like it really just goes all over the place but these are a black yellow and white pair of trousers and they're very structured I actually haven't tried them on so I don't know if they fit me they don't have pockets either which is a little bit annoying so I think it would be a lot nicer if they did but like I said these are just slim fit trousers very office like but I can imagine these with like a trench coat some trainers a bag like I buy everything with the vision of an outfit in my head and I kind of I can vision this in an outfit. And then I found this cute top and I am obsessed with like racer back tops at the moment or just racer bodysuits. And this one was five pounds and it's actually like that slinky waterproof material and it's a bodysuit. And I know I'm pretty little thing and misguided. These are actually like 13, 14 pounds. So when I saw one for five up, yeah, get in my basket. I probably wouldn't have bought it if it was cotton, but because it's that slinky material, it feels so nice on your body, super, super stretchy. And it's just really comfy to wear as a bodysuit. So the five pounds again I could even wear it under that cord or with those structured trousers I just thought this was a nice little staple piece to have and I'd never actually seen a proper racer back bodysuit in Primark before I then went to the coat section and they didn't actually have many coats just because obviously we're coming up to summer well we're meant to be coming up to summer even though they do stock really really early and there was more kind of just like trench coats or sale items left from winter I actually found this black trench coat and it's got a connected belt to it it's got buttons I feel like this is going to be very hard to show on camera but it is literally just a black trench coat like I love a good trench coat this one was £23 which again I think is a little bit pricey for Primark because I remember the days when you could probably go and get a coat from Primark for like 
13, 14 pounds. So I feel like this might be a little bit overpriced and by the time the video goes out, you're probably gonna be able to go into your Primark and it's gonna be on the reduced section and you'll be able to get it for like eight pounds. I thought this was a nice kind of transition coat because it's a bit too warm for a big woolly one, but it's also a bit too cold for no coat. So this is a nice little transition jacket. I then got this really cute hoodie and now this is a good price. This was seven pounds. This was on one of the like folded up sections, if you know what I mean. And it's like an orangey color and all over it, well, it says it three times. It says positivity in this really nice pink writing. And I just saw this and I was like, that is just so lovely. And inside it's got this like fleecy furry material. So it's gonna be super warm. And I can't even explain to you how soft this outside material is. Like I probably wouldn't have bought the jumper if it wasn't this soft because I just picked it up off the shelf and I was like, whoa, like that's soft. It's got the two drawstring bits here and I got mine super oversized as I love an oversized hoodie, but for seven pounds and they had loads of different colorways and loads of different like quotes as well. I was like, yeah, you can't go wrong. Shoes, now I'm not gonna lie and I always get ripped for this, but Primark heels are one of my favorite things ever. If you ever see me in a heel, I guarantee you 90% of the time it's from Primark. I have two pairs of heels that are acrylic, one from Pretty Little Thing and one, actually no, they're both from misguided both my acrylic heels are from misguided and every single other pair is primark i just think they're really affordable they're really comfy touch wood i haven't had any break on me and i just don't like wearing like stiletto type heels but i know i really need to get into wearing them so i picked up this pair this was does it have a price on it still they were 12 pounds and they're like a creamy type color and then they've got a paint tint heel again they offered these in so many different colors but i don't really have a nude nude pair of heels i've got black i've got pink i've got rose but I don't really have a cream pair and I just thought with some jeans or with some dressy trousers or something I feel like they're very office like but I also feel like I could definitely wear these on a night out or like to a carpet or something so I thought these were really fun and for £12 like would you rather pay £12 or £900 for Louboutins because I know what I'd rather pay. Next up oh my god these are Oh, these are so cute. I went to the bag section and I didn't really want a big bag. I just wanted a cute little small handbag because I think they're very in at the moment. And I found one and it's five pounds. I think it's absolutely adorable. And actually it's very similar to the ones I have from Misguided that were like 25 pounds. Now this bag is five pounds and they offered it in lots of other colors. I actually have another color here to show you, but this bit is all like snakeskin detail. This bit's very matte. And then you've got the gold detailing here. And then inside as well, you do have a long strap. So for five pounds, I you literally can't go wrong. And I loved it so much that I decided to get it in the pinky corally color as well. They also had it in a white and a black, but with spring and summer coming up, I thought it would be nice to get a little bit of a brighter color. And I don't wear a lot of color. So adding color to my outfit through the bag is a nice little way to do it. And yeah, just for five pounds, I was like, how can you go wrong? Like I was saying, they had lots of different bags as well and lots of different tiny bags to choose from. But these are, these are definitely some of my favorites. I got some sunglasses as well because Primark sunglasses are the only ones I will wear to be honest and I found this pair and these are a Ray-Ban copy they are three pounds but instead of having just a gold frame they have a tortoise shell like cheetah print outline I thought that was so fun because I've never seen anything like this before I just love this style of sunglasses I find it really hard to find ones that suit my face and I know that these ones do so I picked up these for three pounds and then I also got this funky pair I thought these were kind of fun for like pictures or something and they're like a pink see-through material they're cat eye like I wouldn't wear these seriously these are just kind of a bit of a jokey pair of sunglasses but for two pounds I thought they were really fun and they also have these in black as well I then picked up some rings and this set was three pounds and they're basically loads of different jewels like you've got blue ones you've got pink ones purple ones and they're all on a gold ring because I do love gold jewelry I'm gonna have to insert a close-up for you to be able to see them properly but I thought they were so beautiful and only a couple of them fit me because I have the tiniest fingers in the world. I really wish Primark did extra small as well as small rings because like I said, half of them do just fall off. But I can definitely wear three or four of the pack out of the eight. So yeah, I love these and for three pounds, you can't go wrong. I then also picked up some scrunchies as well because scrunchies are my favorite thing to buy from Primark. So first of all, I got this pack here and these are ribs and they were two pounds and you get a nudie lilac one, a pink one and a black one. And then I picked up these and I've never seen anything like this before. And these were two pounds and they're like a pleather scrunchie with a little bow you get a white one and a black one and it was the last set on the rail and I, I didn't see them anywhere in the shop after I picked these up but I thought these would be so different because this material is so in at the moment and everyone is wearing like faux leather stuff 
So I thought to wear in my hair, these would be super cute. So I picked these up and these are definitely gonna be my new favorite scrunchies. And then I picked up a couple of travel pieces because I think when you're seeing this, I'm actually gonna be skiing. And it's my first time skiing. I'm so excited to go. I'm actually going away with Saf and her family. And I wanted to get myself a cute little passport cover and a luggage tag. So these are both two pounds each and they're pastel pink. And then they just have the little gold plain detailing. And I thought it was so cute and I'm really bad. I've never had a luggage tag on my suitcase. And I thought it was very important for me to finally get one. So I have this finally. And then I've also got here the passport cover as well, just to match because I'm very like, Mm, but in particular with my stuff matching like it all has to match as it will just drive me insane So I got these and for two pounds. I was like, yeah bargain now moving on to home stuff I've got a couple of home bits to end this haul because I cannot go to Primark and not end up raiding the home section First of all, I've got this basket and you're probably thinking Anna like you need another basket I know I don't need another basket and that's my problem I now have a basket that I don't know what to put in but I just loved it and I was like I need it It's black and then it just has these rose gold handles and I just saw it for I think it was four pounds yeah four pounds and I was like okay I'm just gonna buy it anyway because I'm sure I could find a use for it and I thought it was really cute I don't know what I'm gonna use it for comment suggestions down below because I have no idea I got some cushions for my bed so the first one I got is this big white fluffy one and I miss having fluffy cushions on my bed and my mum come into my room the other day and was like Anna it's your filming background like you need to get some nice cushions for your bed and I was like okay like if you insist so I went to Primark and I found this one and it was I want to say seven pounds actually but I don't know where the tag is yeah seven pounds which so cheap and then I got another white one to match this one actually has a little bit more detailing on it but I don't know if it's gonna show up but it's white with like this frilly detail and again I think this one oh this one was nine pounds but I don't actually have any white cushions left on my bed so now I have two nice new ones to join the family and then this is probably my favorite thing that I bought because as soon as I saw it I knew that it was gonna be mine and yes it's another plant because no I'm not a crazy cat lady I'm a crazy plant lady it is basically this plant and it goes goes in this pot like this so it's super super big and I have these two big veranda doors in my room and I thought it would look really really nice next to those so this was pricey I'm not gonna lie it was 20 pounds and I don't think it's worth 20 pounds it is beautiful it's just got this nice little gold stand nice gold pot and then you have got the plant here which is just taking up the whole entire screen but I knew it would look really nice and it's something that I will keep for a long long time so I splurged it and once all the leaves are separated and it's standing up I think it will look really good and that is the end of my Primark haul I really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up if you want me to do these more often maybe not every month because that could get a bit too much but maybe every two months then do let me know as I love filming them they're just nice chilled relaxed videos to film and I know you guys love them it helps you out it's really annoying that every Primark does doesn't have everything in like I feel like I watch half the Primark calls and I'm like oh I want that then I go into my local one and it never has it but go into your Primark with a couple of hours to spare and proper dig deep I love you all so much and I will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye so we had it all. That shit would drive me crazy